Here are some of the things you're gonna need to fill up those holes in your drywall. Number one, something to cover the hole like this. This is fiber tape. It's self-adhesive, you just put it over the hole and you smack this stuff over it. If your hole is larger, I would say six inches or larger, they make patch kits that you just pull over the hole and you cover it with like all-purpose joint compound or some kind of spackle. Some other stuff you might need is a drywall mud pan like this. So if you're doing a big job or filling a lot of holes, you just put the spackle in here and you smooth it around with one of these spatulas or drywall putty knives. You get it in there, you smooth it around. I like using a bigger putty knife because it gives you a you know a smoother coverage when you're going over versus you know doing many passes with something like this. They make them out of metal, they make them out of plastic, and you're gonna need some sandpaper. You wanna stay between 120 and 150, and you definitely don't wanna go above 220 to smooth out your drywall patch. Okay, so here's a better look at the holes that were left over from the wall mount from the TV. This guy, I think I can just put the all-purpose joint compound on there and cover it. It should be fine. These bigger ones, though, I might need to use some drywall tape. And we're lucky here because I textured these walls. The job doesn't have to be perfectly flat. So I'll probably just get the drywall tape on there, smudge it on there, give it a little bit of sand and some texture, and then paint over it. So even though I have texturing on the wall, I'm going to try to knock down as much of this as I can to make it a little bit smoother. Like, see this ridge here? I'm not too worried about that. I'm just kind of worried right around the hole here. Now, if this was a smooth surface, you'd probably maybe want to come in here a little bit more with some sandpaper. Sometimes people, what they'll do is that they'll take the handle and they'll smash it in like that just to make sure that all that stuff is in there. But because I have texture on here, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think these are close enough together so I can just use one strip. So it's going to make sure that this is on as good as I can get it there. All right, so we'll cover that up here. Smear that up. There. Use a smaller spatula to work that in there first. All right, because of the texturing again, I don't have to do any sanding. It matches just fine. Gonna hit it with some primer, couple coats of paint, and then I'll be done.